Now that we have a basic understanding of what a theme is in Get Simple and how to use template tags, what we're going to do is bring in a number of different themes that I've already created and discuss um, the features that I'm adding into each successive theme. In order to begin, I'm going to go back to themes and I'm going to drag in my next theme. This theme is called Metadata. Inside this theme, I have um, an images folder, styles, CSS, and the original template file. Now let's go and take a look at the template file and just see what's changing here. Now I'm adding a little bit more. At the top, I've added some code. And what this does is allow it so that um, you can't access this file directly. You have to access it as a template file in Get Simple. And that's what this first bit of code does. It says um, you cannot load the file directly. The next part that I have where I'm adding things in from the template tags is the site name and a clean title. This way I can generate an automatic title for my website. The next part here is going to echo the content um, of the metadata headers for um, Get Simple. Now this will include things like the page name or, or page descriptions and keywords that you might set um, in Get Simple itself. And the next one here is linking to the CSS. Here I have PHP get theme URL. That will echo the URL that you have set in the settings of Get Simple, which means that um, if you move it from one server to another, this will automatically update as you update the settings in your installation of Get Simple. Then we have a file called style.css, and I'll show you that file in just a minute. The next part here is a body where I am generating an auto ID based upon the page slug name. And that page slug is like home or about, something like that. It's usually a short name to indicate what page we're on. After that, I have the site name, which is in the header it's generating. This way it will generate um, whatever I have in the settings there. I'm outputting the navigation of the page. I have a title that I'm um, using here and I have content. Now, whether or not we have to use the title is not always um, set in stone. Sometimes it's beneficial to do that. Sometimes I put the title in the content itself, which you'll actually see as I use this template. So let's go and take a look at the other things in the folder here. You'll see that we have a style CSS, and right now I have absolutely nothing in that styles sheet. And the other thing, we have an images folder with a screenshot.png. This screenshot.png will be automatically um, shown in Get Simple in the administration as I choose this theme. So let's go back to Get Simple, click on theme to make it find that new folder, and I'll select that folder and activate it. You'll now see that that image appears, and if I go and refresh the page, I get a little bit more content here. So here's the first part. We have our title, which is automatically generating based upon the um, website name and page that we're currently on. This is our header data right here, which provides our description and keywords and generator, which happens to be Get Simple, and our canonical link. The next one is the link, which has our href to the current location of this particular um, theme. And that's what that code output right there. All of that was output just by that get theme URL. Then we have our style CSS. We have our um, index, which is, uh, this is our, the, I can't remember what it's called, our page, current page that we're on. Um, then we have our UL ID menu. This is our um, navigation. And then we have our content down here. So you'll notice that I have two things here in my content. I have home and header two. Um, in home would be the um, 
automatically generated name and header 2 is the header that I had in the content itself. So the problem with using automatic headers like this is that you just have to be aware of whether or not you have them in your content or not and choose not to put them in your content if you're doing them automatically. So that's the basic um, next basic template. Let's take a look at one more. The next one we're going to use is going to have something in there called components. Now I'm going to go inside of this template and you'll see that not much is different except for just a little bit. I've got a component sidebar custom and footer here. And so what we're going to take a look at is how those are generated. If I go back and choose this theme, I need to click on theme, choose components and activate it. Now I'm going to test my website and you'll see that I've got one little bit of extra down here. It says get simple features. So let's take a look at what's outputting that. It says sidebar components is where that is appearing. So if I look at my code, I'll find sidebar components is right here. Now the question is where in get simple does this actually get created? If I go over to edit components on the right hand side, you'll see that here is the code for the sidebar component. And here is the um, PHP code to be able to use that in a template. If I wanted to update this, I could easily do it just to say, I'm going to remove everything back to the paragraphs there and save that. Now if I go back to my website and refresh, you'll see that there indeed is the code that um, I have updated. So it's just showing me that new stuff. Now I can make new components such as you'll notice that I have a custom component and a footer component that I've asked to um, put in this template as well. So let's create those components. I'm going to create a component and call it custom. Now I'm going to put in a paragraph. This is the custom component paragraph. You can save that. And I'm going to add one more. And this will be the footer. Oops, make that lowercase. Copyright 2011. Jonathan Ross. I'll save that component and you'll see that I now have the code for get component custom and get component footer. Now we're not using the tagline so if we wanted to delete it we could. We can also notice that we have all of our different active components over here so if you wanted to click on it there it will take you down to it which is really a great feature. So that's very easy to remove a component that you're not using, and it's very easy to add components that you want to be able to use. Let's go and test it and see if we're outputting this text. Oops, let's see, I've got it saved there. I've got custom and footer. Let's refresh, and you'll see this is the custom component paragraph, and then there's the copyright. So if I test this again, you'll see that I am outputting the sidebar text, then I'm outputting the custom component text, and then I'm outputting the footer component text. Components are a great way for you to add special little codes, um, a, a bit of code that you want to be able to um, hand create and add to your template somewhere. So a great feature of um, Get Simple. Let's stop here and then we'll go on to a little bit more complicated one where we actually get into theming instead of just template files.